A recent global study shows South Africa ranks second last in maths out of 144 countries. No doubt, we need to work extremely hard to improve. Now, Gauteng maths teacher Marilyn Muton has adopted a Japanese program called Soroban to help her students. This incredible technique has produced outstanding scholars who win medals in maths competitions around the world. In 2005, a local TV program caught the attention of maths teacher Marlene Muton. It was about a unique method the Japanese used to teach their children mathematics. I zoomed into that paper and it was millions and billions that five and six year olds counted by doing this with their fingers. I couldn't believe it, I was like literally falling off my chair. Marlene was determined to find out more about the technique. I just couldn't sleep for seven days afterwards, just searching for this. And it's, apparently it's the use of a soroban, and I started searching that word. The method is called soroban. It's an ancient tool that children use to count beads with their fingers. Unlike a modern calculator, it helps kids learn to count by using all their senses. In this way, their young minds no longer perceive maths as an abstract subject, but rather as a tool for daily use. Marlene knew she had discovered something special. I found myself on a lot of Asian sites, okay, and there was not, uh, I couldn't communicate well, not lots of Africa, um, English, um, a lot of Japanese and a lot of Chinese websites, and then they also take you to YouTube, and then what you see is these kids doing this amazing maths, and it's used by the Japanese soroban, they use the Japanese soroban. But the language barrier was a big challenge. I would email the school and I would write and write and they don't email me back but they can't understand me. She finally found people she could speak to directly in Japan through the internet. A teacher with an entrepreneurial spirit, Marlene took drastic measures to get a license for the Sorbonne. I had to get loan money on our house to be able to survive to be able to pay that um, license fee to get hold of that product, fly up and down for my training. And when she finally did succeed in bringing it to South Africa, not everyone was keen to try it out. I went and I did marketing right across Johannesburg. So I would do cold calling of schools. That's how we did it in the beginning. And said, hi, my name is Marlene, and can I come and see you about a new Japanese thing? And most of the time, the phone was slammed, you know, down. Nearly a decade after Marlene started using the unique technique, she continues to produce maths geniuses. The Soroban shapes the children's minds to be able to calculate big numbers in a short space of time. Children are like sponges where you can teach them any skill like language. It has to start at three, minimum. Now you don't have to sit and do sums with them at three. We don't do sums with them at three. We play with them with numbers. We play with them with beads. It's not about aggressive mathematics. It's about starting to show them the skill. Some of the kids who've signed up now travel to Asian countries to take part in maths competitions. They've brought back lots of trophies, proving South African children can be globally competitive. I was really excited to represent South Africa overseas. It, it was really tough, the competition. I got a silver. It integrates the left and the right brain. So it influences all his subjects. Uh, you know, they, they learn how to be more um, comprehensive and they, uh, their memory is increased tremendously. They almost know that one aspect of math now filters through to real life. And so they can, they can make that association. Amazing. Well, 
That's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers. <laughs>